Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with another Akron match for you on a brand new map, Urban Brawl. This match is going to be between Pickley on the right side of the map and King John the Sixth on the left side of the map. So at this point, both players are going for a fairly perfect start. Pickley has, however, gone forward, so we can see that he is playing. No, we can't see what he's playing. He is playing Grekum, and King John the Sixth is also apparently playing Grekum, although he is has a quite managed to get a start completely going yet. Here we are. Okay, so here we see King John VI also playing Grekum. So both players playing Grekum. So Grekum versus Grekum match. This should be very interesting. And I'm just going to go over the map a bit too while the players set up. So, as you can see, we have main base right here. And on top of that, we have natural expansion, the bottom and top, or top and bottom of the main base. There's also expansion in the middle at the top, fairly large expansion, and a smaller expansion near the bottom. As well, there's a bunch of expansions near the sides. I'm just going to go back further because the... Uh, there we are. Sorry, the blur effect is getting in the way. So, we have, as well, some expansions in the center, and the setup is mirrored on the left side as well, so it's a fairly small map, and it's not got a huge amount of resources, but it should be quite interesting, very rush-oriented, I'm sure. However, the buildings do provide pathing blocks, so it will also have a lot of choke points, which will make the map very interesting, allow for a lot of defense, so we'll see how well it works rush versus defense on this game. At this point, Pickley seems to be going for... Well, a start I can't actually see. He's doing it further in the past. He has a Faro and a Seppi, so he's going to be going for some Octos very quickly. That's very typical. And King John VI has also got his Octos a bit sooner, going for resource processors for most of them. And one of them he has set up, presumably, for a scout. At this point, Pickley is going very slowly. He seems to be paused, taking a bit of time to think about his orders as well. And King John VI has gone quite a bit forward. I think he's fast-forwarding right now, actually, to make up for lost time, as is typical. And there's also another Octo coming in, as, which doesn't seem to be doing much yet. I don't know if King John the Sixth has ordered it in the future to scout, but at this point it hasn't done anything. Another Octo down here as well. This Octo is going to scout. The other Octo here is... Okay, two Octo scout. Okay, so a very small aggressive rush from King John the Sixth. The Pickley at the same time has gone for a more economic build. He has seven resource processors, one of them on Q Plasma. He doesn't have another Octo for building a full triad, while King John the Sixth has six resource processors, one of them on Q Plasma. But he hasn't gone for his full triad either. I believe this Octo will be a full triad Octo. But Pickley, it's hard to tell because he is doing stuff further back and past. And so he was about here. And it looks like here's where he sets up his Octos. And it looks like all... So these are the four that set up RPs. This one's probably going to be setting up another part of the triad. And once again, he's gone and paused to make sure his order is set up. If you're wondering what's going on, the Observer Monitor has been adjusted so that Observers don't actually change the course of time. Only players do which means that it will skip over if a player is paused or doing something else. But that is basically a matter of they have paused or they are going slow, and so I will not see what they're doing until a time wave propagates it. Anyway, it does look like Pickley and I have been synced up pretty closely. So at this point, now we're perfectly synced up. At this point, Pickley is using one Octo possibly for defense. He is building more Octos once again. I don't know if he is setting up for defense. King John Sixth Octos are still approaching and more than likely Pickley has seen the attack come. The attack will have hit on one of these time waves. And at the same time, the attack is going to be doing a fair amount of damage for King John VI with this new Octopod as well. So he's adding Octopods to the rush from the looks of it. And he's also getting a Seppi for Reef, so he will have tech pretty quickly. And it looks like Pickley actually will have a decent defense. So there may not be so much damage. Actually, it looks like Pickley has really good defense. So, the Octos coming in are not going to be able to deal much damage. King John VI is trying to change something as well, but it doesn't look like anything actually meaningful has changed. His Octopod may have come a bit sooner, though, and he does have a Reef. So now the Octos are coming in. The Octos are dealing some damage, but the... Okay, the Octos of Pickley have completely surrounded the Octos of King John VI and are, com are destroying them. The Octos of King John VI will barely last. They kill one Octo, but lose two. So, four Octos here, four Pickley. Wow, it's a very, very big Octo army. I'm surprised he hasn't gone and used one of them to build a Triad yet. Seriously, that'd be a very good idea to get some tech up, or at least get an Octopod up, because Octos are okay, but they're not great on their own. And Pickley does have 140 QP, or 140 LC, 80 QP, 90 QP down, while King John VI is coming in with an Octopod. Four Octos are coming in from Pickley to intercept this Octopod, and once again, Octo is coming in. So Octo has gone into progeneration mode, so Pickley will now get some Seppies for tech. And at the same time, Octopod is coming in, dealing some damage to one of the Octos. The Octos will be surrounding it and easily destroying it. King John VI will likely be going and retreating this attack, but it doesn't look like he's actually done that yet. Or if he has, he hasn't done that in any time that I'm seeing right now. So it looks like King John VI hasn't built much of anything. He hasn't built another Faro. He has another Octo coming up. He hasn't got Spire coming up. It looks like it's probably not a good idea anyway if he did do that, because there are these Octos coming in doing a lot of damage. Pickley is 
It looks like he's going for a counter rush. It's hard to tell though. He may be going for an expansion instead. It looks like King John Six is trying to figure out what to do with his Octopod, continuing to micromanage it around. Ah, sorry. Continuing to micromanage it around. Hopefully for him, getting it somewhere useful. But I seriously doubt he's going to be able to do anything with that Octopod. At this point, it looks like he has set the Octopod back in the center of the map where it was before. He has more Octos supporting it though, so two more Octos coming into support. The Octos are not doing a huge amount of damage, but they are distracting the Octos of Pickley, and the Octopod is dealing quite a bit of damage from the sidelines. At the same time, Advanced Buildings is being researched for King John VI, so King John VI will soon have the ability to build a Spire, ability to build domes. He will be able to defend himself quite well and get higher tech. Pickley doesn't seem to have built a reef yet. Actually, never mind, he has. Just now, as I say that, he does go to build a reef, and the Octopod has been destroyed for what will likely be the last time. It doesn't seem like the Octopod will be able to survive. The Octopod is trying to retreat. At this point, it seems to have gotten cornered, and the Octos have killed it. So it doesn't look like King John the Sixth is going to be able to save that Octopod ever. It's very close to the unplayable past. And it looks like King John the Sixth is going to have to try to fend off this attack, these three Octos, as best he can. They are slightly weakened, but another Octopod is coming in, so Pickley is basically going for a counter rush while himself he himself gets a reef and gets more octos as well to build up his economy. King John the Sixth has not paid much attention to his economy since this game started. He is trying to get to a dome, probably get another dome down here with his octo. He is trying to defend as best he can, but it is a bit late. At this point, these domes are his only hope. If he doesn't get these up and running and doing a lot of damage, once this octopod comes in, the octos, actually even the octos themselves, are going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage to the dome. And the Octo here is coming to support. So we have three Octos versus an Octo and a Dome. The Dome is being destroyed very quickly, but the Octos are taking a lot of damage. It looks like the Dome is managing to defend quite well. The Dome is hitting the Octo from the sidelines. The Octo did not kill the Dome. The Dome is not dead, but the Octopod is coming in. So Pickley's Octopod is coming in. There's an Octo as well. The Octo is being healed very quickly. The Dome is not being healed yet. The Dome will be healed as soon as the Octo is done, presumably. And it looks like the Octo... Oh, it looks like there's actually a beam going out. So the Octopod has been hit by the Dome Beam, so it's actually a fairly powerful attack here. So the Octo as well is not doing much, is just walking around trying to avoid getting hit. All players looking at this point in time, and this Dome is not doing much, but it is getting healed pretty quickly. And it looks like the Dome is going to be able to defend against this Octopod. The Octos as well being able to do a lot of damage. Pickley doesn't look like he's researched... He may have reserved advanced structures, I didn't see that for sure, but he does have a firework coming in. He could easily get a Spire and get air units. Both players have quite a few resources stockpiled, mostly LC in the case of King John VI. I'm just going to turn this off too. Mostly LC in the case of King John VI, but still quite a few resources on both sides. King John VI is now building up some more domes. He's got another resource processor coming in as well. So he has 9 RPs, while Pickley has 10, and Pickley is actually doing quite a bit more with his resources at this point. He does have a Spire coming up. He did have advanced structures. While King John VI has not gone and built a Spire yet, he's focusing mainly on domes. He has the Faro up though. He can build a Spire as soon as he gets his Faro going. And another RP. So both players are even with economy at this point, or even with RPs at this point. While the Faro comes in and is able to build a Spire. So now at this point, King John VI has a much better defensive position after these very exciting rushes. While Pickley is focusing more on units and going to be getting some air units very quickly. He also has Chronoporting coming up. And he hasn't actually used, from the looks of it, he hasn't, but he has four building any air units. He doesn't have any air units coming up. He does have a dome of his own coming up. So both players are getting quite a bit in the way of defenses. And now it's a bit of a stalemate situation. Neither player is going heavily for air, except... Oh, here we are. Okay, King John the Sixth has gone for a Faropod, while Pickley hasn't really built anything. He did look in the in the further unplayable past for some reason. I'm not sure if he expected anything there yet. I don't think he has Chronoporting upgraded yet on any part of the timeline that actually has Chronoporting, but he may. We'll see very shortly if he's sending... He may have sent a Octobot Rush to the past or something else as well. So he has chronoporting done. He could be chronoporting anything now. Very good to keep a good eye on him. While King John the Sixth is expanding to the north, and he's also getting a Faropod built up. So the Faropod has been completed. A Faropod as well, a second one is coming up. And it looks like nothing has actually been chronoported back for Pickley at this point. He does have chronoporting research, so he can do it at any time. He doesn't have a huge amount of resources though. He has enough for one unit, 60 QP, and also 254 else well 264 LC now. He has two domes as well, King John the Sixth having three domes, and two Firepods. One Firepod is on its way to attack Pickley Cloaked, and it doesn't look like Pickley has any detectors at this point. He doesn't have any Steppy Pods or Faros, except for the one being used for Progeneration. And this Faro here coming in, attacking the dome, so the dome is taking a lot of damage. The dome appears to be able to hit... It does look like it's able to hit the Firepods. So the dome actually, I think, is a detector. Yes, it is. Okay, so the dome is a detector, so actually, I was slightly wrong. So both players actually do have detectors. They also have Faropods, though. So at this point, it's a matter of who can kill the domes first, because once the domes are dead, 
That section of the base is unable to detect cloaked units, and the Farpods can attack with total impunity. However, like I said before, Pickley does have chrono porting, so that means he could easily counter, get Seppi Paws in the future, send them back, help himself out. Admittedly, he could get Seppi Paws now, I'm surprised he's not doing that. Though he is slightly behind me and pause, so once this blue time wave here comes over, he could be doing quite a bit of damage. And it looks like this dome has been destroyed, so the dome is gone. The Farpods are dealing damage on the side here, but the Octopod does see them. They're trying to deal damage to these Octos. The Octos haven't been used for anything yet, I'm surprised. I would expect them to be used for resource processors, but it doesn't look like anything has actually happened with that yet. The far pod, one of them has been destroyed, the other far pod is tagging these resource processors, it's about to kill one of the RPs, doing this with impunity, none of the detectors are coming in, there's no Sevi pod, there's no Faro, nothing. So at this point, King John the Six seems to be at a fair bit of an advantage, he has a Sevi coming in for generating, he's going to have a Faro up here fairly soon, I'm sure. He has a Sevi pod as well, in case Faro pods come back and manage to destroy his domes. He has resources up in the north side, while at the same time, his far pod is doing quite a bit of damage to these RPs. Pickley is taking a lot of damage, he has one Sepibot coming in, but at this point he's lost three RPs, all of them in Q-Plasma, so he's not going to be able to take advantage of the chrono porting that he had. This is a very big, oh wow, three RPs, three RPs on QP, that's his one RP on QP left, and the Farpod is coming in, dealing more damage to these Octos, these Octos are taking a lot of damage, Sepibot's coming in, trying to do some damage, but the Sepibot hasn't actually been set to attack it. Now the Sepibot's attacking, so the Farpod has been destroyed, got bit too close to the dome, it looks like, oh, it looks like the Sepibot actually was sent back in time. So I'm just going to go forward a bit again. That Sipi Pod was sent back in time though, so it will be dealing a lot of damage. I don't want to be taking up too much there because the event has not been propagated to the future. Once the time wave comes, it will do a lot though. And this is very powerful. So the Sipi Pod is coming back. Like I said before, it is going to be Chronoport back in time. And it looks like he is... Pickley is rebuilding his RPs. But at this point, King John the Sixth has a fair bit of resource advantage. He has 100 QP, 435... Or sorry, 359 LC. But he has a lot of units as well. He has another Faropod coming in. He doesn't have as much tech though, and I think that he didn't get chronoporting yet, which is kind of surprising. King John VI loves chronoporting, but at this point he doesn't even have gotten it. Pickley, on the other hand, has gotten chronoporting. He has used it. We did see that there was a far uh, Sepipod sent back in time. So the Sepipod here isn't actually doing too much, but if, once the Faropod comes up here, here we are. Now the Faropod's coming up here. So the Sepipod is going to be dealing a lot of damage. This is about two minutes before we were looking at, and it looks like King John VI may have actually sent something to counter it, but I'm not sure. Looks like, yes, he himself actually has researched chronoporting. This Farpod right here has been chronoported to the past, so there's a third Farpod coming in. While at the same time, ah, here we are. He upgraded chronoporting now and used it when we saw. So at this point, we have a far two Farpods coming in against the Sepipod. The Sepipod will be able to destroy one of the Farpods, but the other Farpod will finish off the Sepipod. So at this point, the Farpods are doing a lot of damage. The Sepipod will not be able to completely destroy it on its own. Pickley will need to send another Sepipod back to support itself, but at the same time, we do see that dome here is completely useless and it looks like wow did the triad get completely destroyed in the process i think the tri triad got destroyed so at this point yes the far pods have dealt a lot of damage to pickley so pickley is in a very tight spot he needs to get semi pods as far back as he can and be able to build the units that he can to recover at this point the semi pod is still alive back in the future nothing has propagated it yet looks like pickley is trying to send some units from the future back in time but he's already done most of that i can't see any units coming in now but his Arcticus has not been used to progenerate. It should be used to generate more units because as it stands, he is not going to be in a very good position to... He oh my goodness, he has been dealt a lot of damage. He does have the Sepipod come... Where is the Sepipod? He did have a Sepipod come back. And oh my goodness, another Sepipod. So King John the Sixth is just sending a ton of units back in time. Most of these units back here, all the units with little, that are glowing like this, those units have been sent back in time from the future. So it looks like Pickley has surrendered. He's realized that he's been completely hit with a very powerful uppercut very powerful attack in the unplayable past and that is the game so i hope you enjoyed watching a very exciting game and have a good night